Okay, quick little hack for you. I'm going to go in with my B2 brush, my detail hack, and my Buffy brush. Taking the chubby side of my B2 brush with a little bit of mango just to color correct some of the areas where I have red or a couple things that I want to cover up. So it just kind of gives me a nice all over color for my face. I'm gonna go with my main highlight with the larger end of my Buffy brush, which is wheat. I'm gonna put that on my cheeks, on my chin, on my lip. So if you were to have a beard, where would that go? That is where your main highlight goes. You've heard me say that before. So the wheat just goes in there. And then I also am gonna do a line on my forehead. In the middle of my forehead, you can kind of see that it's really covering up the redness that I have on my face. Um, a little more red today. And then the small side, flip it over, going in with candlelit, which is my brightener that I'm gonna use today to brighten my eyes. The brightening highlight is really to bring all of the brightening color to the center of your face. So just make a V there to the bottom of your eye. A little bit on your eyelid if you wanna use that as a cover um, for your eyes. And then forehead and your cupid's bow and your chin. Going in with a little bit of contour. This is Astoria to contour out my nose so that I can put my brightening down my nose. Now it takes all my brightening down the center of my face. I'm gonna take the bigger side of my detail hack and do my contour on my cheek. So on my cheekbone, not to go dragging down and not to go more than halfway through my eye. Uh, just kind of lifts your cheeks there, just kind of blend that in a little bit. I do my hairline. If you have a bigger forehead, you can do a little bit more contour if you want. I have a smaller forehead, so I do less. And then I just go along my jawline with whatever is left on my brush, down my neck and then blend it all in. Just take the fluffy side of your B2 brush, your bronzer blush brush, and just blend that in. You don't need to use a lot of pressure, just a little bit of pressure. It probably looks like I'm using a lot of pressure because I'm going really fast. I'm not going fast. I sped up the video for you guys. So just blend that all in, make sure everything magically looks amazing. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna add some cheek color here in a second for you. I'm gonna use sandstone. So I'm gonna take the um, chubbier side of that B2 brush again, go in with sandstone, which is my favorite go-to color. It's my everyday color, a little bit on my cheeks. I bring mine back a little further from the apple of my cheeks because I have a really short face. And so I don't want my blush to be up in my eyes. So I just take it there. And with that, I am done for the day and ready to go.